to another video sorry i look this way i basically just woke up from a nap and i just decided to get this over with because i got something to do later on today but anyway as you can see from the title this is gonna be like a skin and hair routine i'm gonna tell y'all instead of showing y'all i'm gonna show y'all later on in life but i have braids right now but i'm gonna for the hair routine it's gonna like be like how y'all know how i wear my hair straight in and stuff like that yeah so i'm gonna show y'all i'm not gonna show you i'm gonna tell y'all what i usually or what my mom usually do and what i do for that and also for my skin follow all my social medias um make sure you like comment and subscribe and i would say let's get on with the video okay so i am completely sorry if you hear my crackhead of a brother i don't care what anyone says i told him to be quiet and he won't it's annoying i'm gonna try to speak over him all right so um, we're gonna start with my skin. My skin. Um, where did I, where did I, where did I put it? Oh. Anyway, we're gonna start of what I do first in the shower. So for um, my skin to be like a little clean, like clean at least, like from all day, I like wash my face with soap and water. Like that's what I do. I wash my face with soap and water. And sorry if the lighting is horrible. Like I just try to do something, but. I wash my face with soap and water and then that's all and before I go to sleep I put this van 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 I vanny van eye cream moisturized skin for sensitive skin yeah I put this on my face and I leave it on overnight and it's been doing a very dis difference for my face because I have dry skin and that is and like my skin usually like flakes I don't even know but like this has really helped my skin has not been flaking ever since or like been dry so this has really helped my doctor actually um made me or he gave me this but it's it's like 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 probably like 30 more in like a little bag sorry it's like it's so little but it is backwards but i'm a here's like here's a picture of it right here yeah so that is yeah um next is this i put this on before like when i wake up i go brush my teeth wash my face like make sure i oh and also for this cream when you wake up in the morning and like go brush your teeth and wash your face make sure you rub it into your skin like not like just like a moisturizer like just rub it into your skin and then i guess like it'll kind of wash away but also just wash your face so like because like sometimes i sweat in my sleep and drool and all that ill but like, i do all that and like i have to wash my face because that's not what happened but anyway you wash your face and then you put this lotion on if you have dry skin like me i would definitely 100 percent recommend this lotion or if you have any other lotion comment down comment that down below please and thank you but i'm gonna buy me a bigger one of course but this is Gold Bond Unlimited. It's I know it says diabetic, but I'm not a diabetic. It's I just saw that it said dry skin relief, and I was like, oh heck yeah, I need this. So my grandmother actually brought this to me like about a few weeks ago, and I think like my skin with these two, my skin has really improved, and I'm actually really really freaking happy for that. Um, but yeah so that these two is what i recommend i will like there's going to be a picture of them two right here but these is what it, this is what it looked like um yeah i put i put this on i put this on um i would say every 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 morning every morning before i like go somewhere um i don't put it on like when i'm like i don't put it on when i'm staying home because What's the reason i just put this i put this on every night every night um and if you put this on every night do not miss a day like i did i miss one day but my skin is is okay now but like yes i remember i really 100 recommend this if you have dry skin sensitive skin sensitive skin for this and then dry skin for both if you do like me next is uh, that was all for my skin i don't really do much to it i just do those and soap and water um but yeah that's all i do for my skin now is the hair and the hair i feel like it's gonna take so much 
longer because I have certain things. Okay. Anyway, but when I take this out, like y'all know, y'all see how I have my hair straightened and stuff like that. That's like I do so many things for that. So yes. Um. First, I'm gonna tell y'all a little story of what, like, how my hair is able to do that. So about maybe three, four years ago, I would say my like my mom just decided oh she don't want to do my hair anymore like I, she don't want me to be like i'm still natural but like she just want my hair to like for me to maintain my hair since i'm since i was going into middle school so we just decided that to get my hair straightened instead of my mom doing my hair every single time or get me getting weave all the time that's gonna like damage my hair so my mom decided for me to go to her hairstylist so she can do my hair um, and this took a long process, like how you girls, um, uh, how you girls be like, oh, how your hair get like that? Every time I do my hair like that, it never like, it's not flowy and it's not, and every time I walk outside, it puffs up. My hair actually has been trained for that. That's what the little story is for. But yes, um, we did that for about two years and I would have to say my hair very much improved, like, my hair you can see that how my hair is shiny and healthy and all that y'all are good stuff i got my i get my hair trim every time i go to her um but i haven't went to her in a while actually because my mom has been doing my hair so let me stop anyway uh okay so for me what i do first is i wash my hair i wash my hair with the regular you know regular shampoo and conditioner like sometimes i mix the shampoo and conditioner like i have different brands i do that um what i do is i do now since i wash my own hair now i deep condition my hair i leave so basically what i do is i shampoo my hair no actually I, you make sure before you go in the shower or before you wash your hair, make sure you have combed out your hair because, I mean, it won't do as much, but it will, like, you know, make sure you comb your hair. And then when, when you wet your hair, make sure you comb your hair also. And this takes a long process, but I do it anyway because it really helps my mom when she blow dries my hair. Um, so I comb my hair when it's wet. I comb it, like, under the water. I comb it and use a wide tooth comb please use that or don't use a small itty bitty baby comb because that's literally gonna like i'm pretty sure that comb's gonna pop if you have like really big natural hair like me um but yeah what you do is you comb your hair in the water um then what you do is you put the shampoo in your hair you don't comb the shampoo you don't do anything that's up to you if you want to comb your hair while you shampoo you can do that if you want but I just put shampoo in and I scratch, make sure you scratch that hair, scratch or scratch that scalp. Um, don't scratch it too hard when you cut yourself, but you scratch your scalp for about a good five minutes, I would say. That's what I do in the shower. I wash, I scratch and all that good yada yada. Then you wash your hair, you wash the shampoo out your hair, you do that. And then you comb your hair after you put the shampoo in. Now here comes the conditioner. I do deep uh, deep condition my hair, blah, blah, blah. Not really, but like what I do is I put the, uh, no, actually I comb my hair out when it's like after the shampoo, I comb that out. And then I put the um, conditioner in my hair. I just rub it all, put a whole, a big amount of conditioner in my hair and I just comb. I just comb I just comb until I feel like there's no more tangles or nothing and then what I do is I I wash the comb off because the comb has a bunch of shampoo conditioner and all that and I when I'm like I wet my I, I go in the water no what you do you comb your hair for a long time until there's no more naps or no more nothing in your hair you do that for the longest time until you until there's no more tangles or anything okay just just know that okay um i'm not saying that this will work for you to have straight hair you got to do this for like a long time and make sure you go to a hairdresser and say that you want your you want to blow out okay um anyway um so after like when there's no more you know knots in your hair when you have the conditioner in um what you do is you just wash the conditioner out and make sure you're combing your hair while you're doing that you either comb your hair while you're doing that or comb your hair after but i like sometimes i comb my hair while but I, I just sit under the water and i just like make sure all make sure all of the shampoo and conditioner are out your hair please and thank you because your if the shampoo and conditioner is like still in your scalp area your hair would draw believe me i mean i it's never happened to me but like i usually sometimes leave 
shampoo or conditioner in my hair and like it, bad things happen my hair is really tangled and blah 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 but please 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 wash everything out of your hair every single little soap such make sure there's nothing but clear water dripping down your body now what you do is you um comb your hair after you like make sure like everything is out you comb your hair and then you're good and then you get out the bathroom and what you do is you make sure your hair is still like tangled like still untangled and then I also forgot to say, make sure your hair is still wet when you're blow drying your hair. Make sure it's still wet. Get this. It's called Remy. Remy brings hair back to life. And no, it's for wig, wig and weave detangle spray. But one, I, you see that detangle spray? If you see this, if you see it say detangle spray, make sure you get this okay this is work really good like my hair it, it's it's freaking it's wonderful but if you have like if you have like lace fronts or anything use this also for like to detangle it but yes this helps my hair what you do is you spray this all in your hair it doesn't matter if your hair is already like detangled but you spray this because when your hair is when your mom or when whoever or when you blow dry your hair it's still going to be some tangles in it believe me believe me when i say that but you spray this all over your hair make sure you lift your hair like spray it everywhere and then you comb your hair and then what you do is i have well my um our blow dryer broke actually um so we had to use our cousin's one but this one is amazing i mean it's really nothing special just get a blow dryer that heats up really freaking hot like these like so hot where you cannot touch this part like so hot um and it like make sure your hair is like really like make sure there's no more wet stuff in your hair and yeah and after you do that now it's time for the straighten part what you do is you use any type of um any type of thing i forgot what this is called but any type of you know i forgot what this is called We're just gonna call it like some oil gel crap but it's anyway this really do help my scalp because i have dry scalp i do like my skin is dry my freaking scalp is horrible i use this when or i use this or another one in my mom's room but i use this and it smells really good i don't like huh it smells like let me see mm, it smells really good i don't know what it smells like but it smells really good it says shea butter but i don't know but it's called African's Best Caster Oil Hair and Scalp Conditioner Conditions Dry Brittle Hair Vibrant Sheen. Yeah, this really helps. This really helps my hair. But you put this all over your scalp when you're about to, when you're like straightening your hair. And my mom has actually got a new flat iron um uh, make sure it heats up all the way to like 450 or 4 something but this junk has to be really hot where it burns their freaking scalp because this this will make it burn okay just know that but yes just use something that's just use products as or like heat products that are really hot because this will not work and you make sure you do this for about two a good two years but i don't know if it'll work for y'all but it worked for me and um ever since then I, I was in love with my hair and sorry if you hear my brother again oh my god i'm I, i'm about to murder him i'm about to murder him it's whatever but yes um and also i have to get okay so when I have like, okay, so when I take out this and uh, I don't feel like washing my hair right after, what I do is I make sure I have this by my side, eco gel or banana, oh, banana, <laughs> eco gel or um, what you even call it? What you call it? Oh, Gorilla Snot, eco gel or Gorilla, gorilla Snot by your side and a really good edge control i have to buy a new one like a whole new one i don't want this one anymore because it gives me flakes i know all 
Okay, even Eco Gel gives you flakes. It really gives you flakes, but I still use it because it works for my hair really freaking good. Um, but my cousin actually suggested something for me that's like kind of more like naturalish. But I will be using. I won't be using this anymore. I'm gonna have to go. I will go to the store whenever my mom is free, and ask my cousin which, yeah, whatever thing it is. Yes. So. Oh. And I did lose, like, make sure you get, I, I, I'm using a toothbrush now, and it doesn't really work as good as my edge brush, but I really, I lost my edge brush when I moved around my room. Yes, I did move around my room. Anyway, this is the end of this video. Oh, shoot, y'all just saw my hair move. Anyway, but this is the end of the video. All I gotta say is, I forgot to say this. Um, when I made my last video but thank you guys so much for 100 and something subscribers I don't remember but thank you so much for 100 and plus 100 plus subscribers okay thank you so much I love you guys so much um um I will be improving I will be improving this YouTube video I will be posting kinda what I would do for the first day of school after I get home from school from cheer practice and all that I will make a, a life update video for you guys for sure and and then on Friday I will be doing a vlog um not me at school but me at a football game and you know there'll be a little surprise that you guys will see me doing so half of you guys already know what what it is but like yeah Anyway, this is the end of the video. I thank you guys so much for everything. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, follow all my social media, Snapchat, Facebook, um, Instagram, both of my Instagram accounts. Um, make sure you do that, and I will love you forever, even though I already love you. Anyway, comment down below what video you what videos you like to would you uh, comment down what videos you would like to see like pranks and my mom really don't want me to do pranks anyway yes so i hope you guys i hope you guys like this video i hope you girls i hope this helped you guys you guys and girls you know um and i think i have like a little name to call you guys um either kings and queens or i don't know but i was thinking kings and queens or babies my babies I was thinking my babies, but I think I'm gonna call you guys my babies. But yes, babies. Um, no, that sounds weird. Okay, kings and queens, I love you guys so much. Um, and subscribe once again, y'all. Oh, oh shoot, all that yada yada. And oh, also, did y'all see my new intro? I made that myself, and I also made some for my friends. Um, yes. But next video will be coming out either on the first day of school or the second day. Just, just be where turn your post notifications on and all that subscribe share this with your friends i love you guys bye babies <laughs>